Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. I am like getting interrupted, but so I want to do this monthly um, Bible study and something that the Lord was just showing me. So I want to start out the title of this post. Um, the monthly Bible study is going to be Enjoy the Ride. And as I was saying, um, coming out to the conference was such a faith walk for me. Um, it wasn't something that was easy, but I trust God and I trust what he told me to do. And so you have to just make a decision to move. And sometimes he gives you things and we don't understand the whole plan. We don't know what we're, where we're going and we don't see the resources or we don't see, you know, how are we going to do this? Because a lot of times, of course, when you can see it, it makes sense. But he said it's impossible to please him without faith. And so faith is all about what you can't see, but it's knowing that he is faithful to do just what he said. And so my husband and I talked, we made a decision that I was going. And y'all, I will tell you, I have grown um, spiritually here. Uh, I have had so much to happen and go wrong, but this is another reason why I started Motivation on Monday because it's about getting in the Word of God. It's about allowing God's Word to, to strengthen you and to grow you. And I keep stressing the importance of getting in the Word of God because it's our foundation. And so when life happens, if you don't have something in you, you don't have you don't plan for a storm in a storm you prepare for a storm before and for us that's getting the word of god framing our world by the word of god so today um is about enjoying the ride and so the ride for me um i when i was studying this morning god was just i mean speaking to me and it just brought me to tears and so i want to share some of the nuggets that he shared with me and the first thing is god is committed to my future he is committed to your future everything that concerns you god is committed to and god's grace is sufficient and so here's the thing y'all grace you know how i feel about grace it's such a, a topic and there's so many good definitions of grace, but I'm gonna give you my favorite too. Is the grace is unmerited favor that we did not deserve. You couldn't earn it, you couldn't pay for it. It doesn't matter who you know. God's grace is his enablement. That's the second definition. It means enablement to do something. Um, it's his ability, not mine. Again, it's what he gives us. And so God, I just wanna keep saying, God is committed to our future and I want to discuss even just go a little bit into future because a lot of times when we think future we think something you know off or yeah it's what's in the future but what I want you to understand is God is committed to everything y'all when I say God is committed to my future I mean everything I give him my children my marriage my job my business he is committed to everything that we commit to him God is committed to it and so I want to encourage you today to say God is committed to your future but it's up to us to commit to God everything he said if you commit your works to him he will keep it and so your future whatever that is you put it out there and know that he is able to keep you now the thing that I loved about this is when you say God is committed to my future, it means that I'm his problem. So I don't have to figure it out. I, I wanna keep going back to the scripture that God gave me. He said, before you were formed in your mother's womb, y'all that mean before what you see on the ultrasound, before that happened, he said, I knew you. And so y'all, we don't have to try to do anything. All we have to do is commit to him. He said, I'm committed to you, but are you committed to him? And you commit to him through praying, through first of all, allowing him to come into your life so if you don't know him y'all you have a God who cares about you and your first step is to commit to him to give him your life and then allow his gift the Holy Spirit to reside and guide you and direct you and after that y'all it's giving him everything saying Lord I acknowledge you in this day I acknowledge you in all my ways that you would direct my path now I have to read two scriptures that really just bless me today and the first one is Psalms 57. And when I began to read this, 
Y'all, I was on the treadmill. I had to buy get off. Y'all know I get a lot of my, you'll find out I, I call them treadmill treasures. The Lord speaks to me when I'm running. But this this just spoke to me. And again, I, I told everyone that I was going to document um, my Baltimore experience. And the reason I want to do that, because I want to be very transparent. Again, you might be starting out or wanting to start something. Y'all, it's just moving them. There's not an easy way to walk by faith other than to just walk by faith. But here's the thing. He is faithful, y'all. He is so faithful to do what he said he would do. And so I I would be allowed to say, oh, I've sold all this stuff. Y'all, there were so many days. But when I tell you this word took grip to me, you just don't understand. I couldn't shake. There, there were days that, I mean, my first day, you, you'll hear, see that on the other videos I my phone totally went I couldn't take payments nothing was happening right but y'all it's like I just kept saying God you it's you're faithful okay I got to go to the Apple store all the way to the Apple store y'all I praised them because the word is a lively word it has to come off of this paper and become our life and it it happens by us speaking it and us walking it it's not gonna always be easy and so this scripture just blessed me because this morning this is what God reminded me and this is David talking in Psalms 57 and 2 and it says I will cry to God most high who accomplishes all things on my behalf for he he completes my purpose in his plan and this is the amplified version but the blessing with this is it says for he completes my purpose in his plan so when I cry out to God he completes it it's not for me to complete it I am his problem remember what I said God is committed to you if you are committed to him and here's the thing let me tell you that if out he's committed to us he went he showed his greatest commitment by going to Calvary and dying for us so it's not a you know if you do this I'll do this he said I've already shown you that I'll go to the I will go to the highest degree I died for you I bled for you so that you would have eternal life and so we don't have to worry about you know does he love me he is committed to you and so if he's committed to you and he died for you do you not think that he can handle your daily activities your daily issues you know but we forget I think sometimes we minimize him and so I want to encourage you to just number one know that he's committed to you but it's for us to commit to him and so this just really blessed me and i have to read again jeremiah um, one, I want to start with verse five, and it says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you and approved of you as my chosen instrument. And before you were born, I consecrated you to myself as my own. Y'all, I don't know if you can hear the love in that, but he's letting you know that his eyes is upon us. There's nothing for us to fear, worry. You know, we just have to trust him. And this goes so well with our motivational mon um, Monday scripture. I want to read that to you really quick because we've been in Jeremiah 29 11 through 13 and again I think this fits very well because it's just reminding us it says that he has a plan for us and that plan is not of evil but it is of good and to bring us to to give us a hope and bring us to our expected end and I just want to go back to it really quick um, the amplified version but I thought this was so good because it falls in for I know the plans and thoughts that I have of you says the Lord plans for peace and well-being and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope but here's the thing just like with David David said I, I have to go back to um, the scripture and David I will cry to God the most high so uh, first of all I want to just say if you got to cry to someone this Listen, I love my husband. My husband is the best husband ever. He's my best friend. It's my Javier plug. Um, he calms me, but Javier can't fix it all. We got to You can't run to your friends all the time. You can't. You even have to know what to say and who to call. But David said, I cry to the most high because he's the one who's going to accomplish things on my behalf. For he completes my purpose in his plan. But that that parallels with our motivational Monday scripture because look what does verse 12 says then you will call on me and you will come and pray to me and I will hear your voice and I will listen to you so we have a promise y'all so I want to keep going um and just kind of tie it in really quick this is what the Lord showed me and it blessed me so and I pray it blesses you 
um, this morning God said I want you to enjoy the ride and so that's what I'm gonna tell you for today I want you to enjoy the ride and so you might say Latrice what ride and so the Lord in my meditation and in my Bible study was showing me a roller coaster now this was already funny for me because I hate roller coasters so this was very befitting um, and I don't like heights and so I'm like I don't choose to get on roller coasters but anyway for the purpose of this example the Lord showed me a roller coaster and when you get on a roller coaster there's so many turns there's dark spots there's um first of all you know roller coaster lovers you might look at a roller coaster and say oh you see it going and you say i'm gonna get on that but when you get on it your situation your ride might be totally different he might take you through the hole a couple times do a couple more dips and so my point is when you get on that roller coaster you don't know what the ride is going to be like you are helpless but you have to trust the conductor and that he's going to steer you and let that ride come right back to a smooth end you don't know what's before you and the first thing they do is they tell you to put your buckle up put your belt on and they pull that bar back well y'all that's what god was telling me this morning he said trees i want you to enjoy the ride when you gave me your life you allowed me to be your conductor so now either you're going to remain helpless and y'all helpless in the natural state sounds like the worst place to be if you think about somebody saying i'm so helpless that doesn't sound good but spiritually helpless is the best place to be because now god can get he can stand up in us i think about paul he said when i'm weak he is strong nobody thinks being a weakling is is wonderful but spiritually being weak it's just ground for god to show out and so us being helpless if you know everything well what does he need it for but like that roller coaster when you get in you have to buckle up well here we go again i think about ephesians and it talks about putting on the belt of truth well that truth is the word of god y'all and this is why i keep stressing the word of god the word has to come off of this bible out of these pages and become our life we have to buckle up and we buckle up through truth and so you can just like that roller coaster they gonna tell you buckle up and they put it on and you have to trust that conductor but here's the thing when that ride starts you go through tunnels you scream you sometimes if you mean you cry you go through this and then sometimes there's even parts where it's smooth and it's fun and you see people with their hands in the air they enjoying it then you might have another dip well that's life but the conductor has us and when you come back in you come back in level y'all he said i am your conductor he said i have you and you have to trust him but here's the thing you got to buckle up you don't get on a roller coaster and don't buckle up because you're going to be moving back and forth. That's a dangerous thing. And then you can't jump off either. To jump off is death. You don't get on a roller coaster and decide, I don't like it. I'm going to just get off. Well, good luck with that. But here's the thing. God said jumping off is death. But also jumping off spiritually is likened to saying the wrong things, to not um, speaking what the word of God said, giving up, doubting God, all of these things are likened to jumping out they equals death but you got to stay on the ride and know that the conductor he's in charge he knows that ride and so our conductor jesus christ he knows the ride he ordained your ride is not going to be the same ride as mine but god said i know the ride i know the purpose i know the plans that i have for you and so we have to let the conductor lead it so again buckle up you have to put on the belt of truth and here's why you say why is this so important because for us to not put no and put on our belt of truth is to allow the devil to overpower our mind with evil thoughts but y'all when you first of all you got to know the truth you got to know what he says we can't be these christians that i'm a sunday christian or i'm a i i listen to the word here and not no you got to know your you got to know your conductor you got to know and be able to trust that he's got you but how do you know him through his word he said i put my word above my name y'all and then he said i watch over my word to perform it so it matters what you say and i'm sharing right where i'm at because y'all i have some close friends they've been texting me and how's everything going and i haven't been saying much they probably like what's going on but y'all this trip grew me up do you hear me there are some days that i can tell you i would have been in tears 
And it's not to say that I didn't cry any tears, but I did not cry tears of desperation. I cried tears of being overwhelmed from God's love, his grace. Y'all, let me put it in my terminology. Again, you know I'm a gym junkie. I like the gym. Um, I like lifting weights. And a lot of times when we start getting cut, you just, you know, you get excited to show somebody your muscles. But y'all, I'm excited today because I am such a success. Baltimore was a success to me. If you said, Latrice, how much product did you sell? How many people bought? this I don't have a long list to tell you but y'all I am a success because I moved by faith I did what God told me to do your there were some days one day I didn't sell anything I got out the enemy tried to here you go he tried to bombard my head with thoughts you know you should be embarrassed look at you sitting here da 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 da, da. y'all I got out I began to hand out my bookmark smile and go talk to people and and tell people about my business because anytime I came I come to a vendor event I tell the Lord that it's about soul and sales everything is not money you can't be money driven because here's the thing you could go to something and don't sell anything but God favor you and have one person connect you to something else and so it's about trusting him and trusting the process but y'all I listen I'm excited this today because I got cut I got some spiritual muscles I, I have some determination I am bold in Christ and so that's what I want you to understand enjoy the ride because just like that roller coaster is scary you go through dark places you can't see you don't understand you come out the sun is bright then all of a sudden the ride is smooth then you dip down but when you come to the end that conductor he brings you back in and it's a smooth finish and you like okay that was a good ride well that's what God is saying to us this month he want us to enjoy the ride and we have to know what the word of God says anything that doesn't line up with the word of God is a lie and so we have to be people of faith and know that we're going to put on our belt of truth and truth is everything that he says and I want to just real quick share some things that what he says God says that you and I we are the head and not the tail he said that his banner over us is love God says I am a masterpiece and I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God said my children are blessed and they are the seed of righteousness. God said my, my dwelling place is peace. Psalms 57 said God said he will complete my purpose in his plan. Psalms 32 and 8, God said he will instruct and teach me in the way that I should go. He also said if I delight myself, he will give me the desires and the petitions of my heart. God said commit, give bind my way to him trust him and he will do it God said he to be humble and I will inherit the land and experience abundant prosperity and peace I'm not telling you what Latrice said I'm telling you what God said this this that belt of truth you got to put on he said the steps of a righteous man are directed and established in his way and he blesses my path Psalms 37 and 31 God said when the law of God is in my heart not one of my steps will slip. God said he is my refuge and stronghold in the time of trouble. He helps me and rescues me. Psalms 37, 18 through 19 says, day by day, the Lord takes care of the innocent and they will receive an inheritance that lasts forever. And this is where I got so encouraged this morning, because again, I'm telling you, putting on your belt, if you're a woman and if you've ever like put on a belt and it you don't get it in the right hole and it keeps sagging it gets annoying you want to you want to feel that support well y'all that's what the truth does it supports us because the enemy and life is going to bring some darts and things and try to distract us and this morning he tried to make me feel you know well how much money did you make and did you it's not about that but y'all I begin to think about I went through this situation I missed the whole day almost of it but I came back through and this happened and that happened I begin to rejoice in the God of my salvation. All of that is a lie. But what does God's word say? Well, I'm going to tell you how he ended it for me. God's word says in, in verse 19 of Psalms 37, he said, they will not be disgraced in hard times. Even in famine, they will have more than enough. The Lord told me, he said, I got you. Listen, he said, you will not be disgraced. You cannot fail, slip, or fall. And he said, even when there's a famine, you going to eat. So y'all, I'm so encouraged today. And I just want to end here and just say, enjoy enjoy the ride of life. Um, the enemy wants us to be discouraged, but y'all, 
I'm smiling big. I'm in Baltimore. This is the last day. God just showed itself faithful. I mean, I can't, I, I'm going to be blogging and writing, but I just wanted to log on really quick and just tell you, enjoy the ride. We don't understand everything. And maybe you're out there and, and your ride has been rough. You you said, Latrice, I've hit so many bumps. I, I just want to get off this roller coaster. I think jumping might be the better option. No, 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 no. I want you to know that there's a God that loves you. There's a God that for you he died for you if you would just give him your life he will change your life it doesn't mean that life is perfect it doesn't mean that everything goes right remember what I said think about that roller coaster it can be a ride but there's times that the hands are in the air people enjoying it feeling the wind there's times you dip you feel like life has knocked you out then you go through all kinds of feelings but at the end you come rolling right on in and you like huh that was good some crazy people like to get on it again but i'm just saying he is faithful be encouraged and know that god is committed to you so this is latrice with beauty and purpose i was determined to get this under 30 minutes y'all i'm doing good so just know you're gonna hear some more from me but god is committed to you be blessed